Once your pump stands are set up and calibrated, it's time to do a little math. Using your whiteboard, write down seed size, net weight, time in seconds, adjusted use rate in ounces per hundred weight, use rate in ounces per minute, and run total. Also mark down your chemical use rates and the equations to get your adjusted use rates and run totals. The seed size and net weight can be found on the seed tag of the box of seed you are treating. These may vary from box to box. To find the use rates of your treatment and inoculant, check the keg label or packaging. These use rates are based off the perfect seed size of 2800 seeds per pound, or the perfect 50 pound unit. Because seed size vary from lot to lot, you will need to determine an adjusted use rate. To do so, divide your seed size by 2800. Then multiply your answer by your use rate. This final number equals your adjusted use rate. Next, you'll determine your run total, or the total amount of ounces of chemical and inoculant that will be applied to one pro box of seed. To get this, divide your net weight by 100. Then multiply your answer by your adjusted use rate. This will give you your run total. Now, you'll need to determine how long it takes your seed to run through the treater. To find out, run a naked box of seed. Before you start, make sure your treater's atomizer chamber handle is pulled down in the closed position. Then, on your Quad Master Flex controller, turn your pumps to the off position and toggle the hand off auto switch to auto. On the treater control panel, toggle your aux ports to auto and your atomizer and auger switches to on. The switches should light up. Get your timer ready, then open the slide gate on the Pro Box. Wait a second and then push up the atomizer chamber handle to the open position. Simultaneously, start your timer. Seed will begin flowing through the atomizer chamber and up the auger. Once the Pro Box is empty, the treater control panel lights will turn off. Stop your timer, turn off the atomizer and auger, and pull the atomizer chamber handle down into the closed position. After your run is complete, place the full box of naked seed back onto the treater. Convert your recorded time into seconds, then document it onto the whiteboard. You will now use that run time to determine your use rate in ounces per minute. To do so, simply divide your run total by the total seconds. Then multiply by 60. The result will be your use rate, or flow rate, that you'll need to set your pump stands to on the flow meter readout screen. To set your pumps to the correct rates, first turn the treat and calibrate valve on your pump stand to treat. Then use the black and orange valve to dial your ounces per minute to the correct rate. Calibration is now complete. Next, prime your lines. Insert the half inch tubing into the chemical tree located below the treater control panel, then open the valve. On the Quad Master Flux controller, turn both pumps into the on position and the hand off auto switch to hand. Chemical will begin flowing. Once chemical reaches the atomizer, toggle the hand off auto to auto. Turn on your auger and atomizer, open the slide gate, open the atomizer chamber, and start treating. A box of seed typically takes between four and six minutes. Once complete, UAS recommends double dumping the seed into its original box to improve flowability and prevent any bridging. Then, place your seed tag onto the box to mark it's been treated. One box down, and just a few more to go. For more tips, how-tos, and answers to all your seed treating questions, just give us a call or visit unifiedagsolutions.com.